Just because something comes from a credible source doesn't mean it's true, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't question it. Today, someone in my LinkedIn network shared this article that appeared in Education Week. Students are missing school because they're too anxious to show up. Now, as someone with anxiety, I fully buy this, right? I'm like, yeah, I bet students are missing school because they're too anxious to show up. And so like, that's my, my personal bias I'm bringing to this. And Education Week, like that's a good source for research and news about education. This is probably true. But is it really? So I'm reading through this article and what I immediately notice is, wow, this article has a lot of statistics. Again, that makes it seem kind of credible too, right? Like they're sharing all these numbers. They have all these numbers. It's education week. They say that it came from the Edu Ed Week Research Center. Like this sounds legit. So it must be true. Students are missing school because they're anxious. But what should you ask every single time you see a statistic? Who, who did this data come from? Because if you got into that article and it said, we talked to 10 students and most of them said they skip school because they're anxious. You might be like, mm, that headline seems like a pretty strong statement for only talking to 10 students. That's not what they did, it's just, just an example, a hypothetical to demonstrate why it's so important to ask, hey, who is this data from? This data, this data that is telling you why high school students, just to note, the headline is students, the data is high school students, tells you why high school students miss school in the past year, other than physical illness, came from, a survey of 1,034 high school students. So immediately, perhaps this headline should say, high school students are missing school because they're too anxious to show up. But furthermore, the fact that this article gives no other information about these 134 high school students is mind boggling to me. Why? Because context matters. What if you find out all the students that they surveyed went to schools in really rural areas in Texas? Do you think it just still say all students? What if you find that all the students they surveyed went to my high school out in Naperville, Illinois? Do you still do you still believe that stat? Is it is it still important? What if all the students they surveyed went to really wealthy private schools? How do you feel about the stat now? I'd argue that how you feel and interpret that statistic about high school students would change depending on the characteristics of those high school students. This is a massively general statement about students missing school because of anxiety that came from only asking high school students and only like, what was it, 1,034 high school students and you know nothing else about them. I would argue that your feeling of how applicable this statistic is generally to everyone or to yourself, the high school students you care about, would depend pretty heavily on other characteristics of those high school students. It just would. If we're talking about my high school in Naperville, Illinois, that's very different than talking about the high school that I worked at in West Philadelphia. So where did these 1,000 students come from, right? Because our understanding of anxiety and missing school needs to be further contextualized. Like even just geographic information could be really helpful, right? Are students in certain cities or states or school districts maybe just like more anxious and those were the students you talked to? Or maybe the students you talk to are actually less anxious than a lot of other students, right? Like we just don't know because we know nothing about this ambiguous group of students. I'm sure that Ed Week knows about these students because their research center sent out this survey, right? Why would they not report that? I just, I don't want to assume like bad intent, but that is bad reporting. I dug around for 10 minutes. That was my cap. I could not find any more information on the students and that's a red flag to me that's a red flag and so when you are sharing information with the world please tell the world about the people your data came from tell them anything that might be relevant about those people because if they are mystery people that we know nothing about it's really difficult to assess the truth of the statement you are sharing